Good morning, everyone. Welcome into North Dakota today. Well, get ready for a jaw dropping show that will thrill fans of all ages with unbelievable stunts, dynamic performances and boundless energy. It's happening in Fargo on Thursday, November 7th at the Fargo Dome. We're talking about the Nitro Circus this morning. We have professional skateboarder Beaver Fleming joining us with the details. Hey there, Beaver. What's going on top of the morning? <laughs> I love it. I love it when it's a nice match of energy to get things going. So first of all, just tell us about the Nitro Circus. Yeah, the Nitro Circus is the biggest collective of action sports athletes in the world. And we get everyone together. We have incredible, massive ramps, about a 50 foot tall. We call it the Gigana Ramp and then 75 foot in distance, the motocross ramp and you're seeing tricks that are going down, winning X Games medals and pushing the limits every single night. So it's it's an incredible time. We've also got the contraptions, which are, you know, the tricycles you rode as a kid. We've got a trash can on wheels that guys are jumping and it's unlike anything anyone's ever seen before. Yeah, very high energy. And then there's a lot of X's in a lot of these uh, definitions here. So we've got BMX, FMX, WCMX, scooters. Walk us through what that all <laughs> means for fans. Yeah, so BMX, I would say that's the original. That's the BMX bicycle, so what you would ride down the street. And then FMX is the freestyle motocross, so that's got the actual engine on it, the dirt bikes that go flying. And then WCMX, that's our guy in the wheelchair who hits the ramp. You know, it's crazy. He was born with spina bifida, but didn't use that as an excuse, wanted to be involved in action sports. And so he created his own category, and he just did a trick that, is incredible. None of us thought was possible. A double backflip 360. He just landed it in practice. So it's amazing just seeing all the guys continue to step up and elevate our show. And I personally, I ride the skateboard. That's how I got involved. And uh, it's been a wild ride. I love that. That is really astonishing too, to have people of all abilities really there to show off and, and show out. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Walk us through how you got into skateboarding and, and your professional journey. Yeah, my professional journey has been very fun. I got into skateboarding through the video game Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That was the first time, and I just saw basically the character hit this ramp and go flying, and he used the skateboard. So I was like, that's what I need. I need a skateboard. Talk my parents into getting me one. <laughs> and just with hard work, dedication, and years committed to the craft, I've been able to travel all over the world. I've been with the Nitro crew for the last decade, 12 years now. Um, I joined when I was 18, 18th birthday, did my first show, and I, it's been a wild ride ever since. We've traveled all over the world, but it's so fun to be bringing it to communities that might have not seen us before, so we're excited to be in Fargo. Wow, that's really interesting, and that's a long time. I wasn't expecting you to say over a decade, so congratulations at that. So how has the Thank tour you. been going so far? Uh, the tour's been good. We just did a show in Columbia last weekend, which was insane. We had over 20,000 people there, and we're getting ready. We're kind of bringing and developing a new show for this U.S. tour. Uh, we wanted to mix it up a little bit, so we had guys in Vegas this uh, past couple days testing out new ramps, and everything's looking good. So by the time we hit Fargo, I think we'll have one or two shows already in, so we'll be locked and loaded to, to perform at our best. When you're on a tour like this, what is rehearsal like? Are you actually like practicing? before each showtime or is the tour itself the practice that you need for each showtime? Yeah, I mean, the tour itself kind of becomes the practice that we have. Usually the practice is just a fun jam session, and that's just being with your friends, pushing each other. Hey, I kind of want to try this trick tonight. There's a freestyle element in the show called the best trick competition. And any given night, one of the guys is going to put down a trick that has maybe never been done in history, which is really cool and I think separates us from any other show. I know for myself, I live for the that time in the show, like, all right, now's the time we get to unleash and, and try some stuff that maybe we're not going to make first try, but it's going to be epic when it goes down. Yeah, I like that. So you still get the opportunity to be creative and kind of innovate all while performing for people. Absolutely. Very cool. Okay, so kind of set the tone for the environment for fans of all ages and what they can expect. You know, say we're walking into the doors of the Fargo Dome. What's the layout going to look like and kind of walk us through what we're getting ready to see? Yeah, the layout's pretty insane. It's a spectacle, especially seeing the ramp before anyone drops in on it. You look at that thing and you're like, 
what is that? Is that a roller coaster? Is it a spaceship? How are guys going to ride down that on skateboards, bicycles, wheelchairs? And then from the moment the show starts, it's just nonstop action. It's fun. It's funny. We've got amazing cast and crew and MCs that keep the energy of the show alive. And uh, it's it's an incredible time. The cool thing is, too, all the athletes are fans of it as well. So you're going to see us on the sidelines hyping each other up mm. because it is scary. You know, we're putting our lives on the line for some of these tricks. And so we got to be there to support one another. And it, it's an amazing time. I, I'm excited to just see the kids because I was that kid sitting in the crowd, mm. you know, well over a decade ago. And it's it's exciting to inspire the next generation. And, and that's what we hope to do is to continue to show the positive outlook that action sports can have. I love that. All those video games come to life, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Amen. Well, Beaver, thank you so much for joining us this morning on North Dakota Today. We so appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Yes, sir. All right. Tickets are available, everybody. The Nitro Circus is Thursday, November 7th at the Fargo Dome. Thank you again. All right. Coming up on today's show, we are checking in with Miss Amanda Kozier and getting North Dakota nice.